Hi, I'm Jody, and today I'm going to talk about pros and cons of Kevlar canoes in the realm of canoe camping. I've been canoe camping in the Boundary Waters in Minnesota here for 15 plus years. I've spent a lot of time in different types of canoes, and today I'm going to talk a lot about Kevlar. Kevlar is a wildly popular type of canoe in the Boundary Waters. So I'm going to shed some light on when they're great and when they're not so great. I'll start with the pros and then I'll go into the cons. Pros of a Kevlar canoe. The biggest pro, the biggest thing that people love about Kevlar canoes is how light they are. Kevlar canoes are known for being super light and easy to move. Most of the pros of the Kevlar canoe revolve around the fact that they're super light. For example, Kevlar canoes are fast. Every paddle that you paddle in your Kevlar canoe will take you a little bit farther in the water because the canoe just glides through the water when it's so light like that. Of course it depends on the shape, there's a lot of different things that go into how easy your canoe is to propel. Kevlar canoes are light, which makes them fast. It also makes them easy to clean and transport. Cleaning out your canoe is always a good idea, it keeps it in good condition and keeps all the little pieces in better condition before and after a canoe trip it's always good to wash it out. I just use water and a rag or a sponge usually and that's good enough to get some of the mud that inevitably ends up at the bottom of the canoe out and to clean it before you go too so you don't have leaves and spider webs and stuff when you're taking your canoe out. With a Kevlar canoe it's easy to just pick up the canoe and put it up onto some sawhorses and then rinse it out and then it's also easy to put on your car or on some kind of trailer to transport it. In the realm of canoe camping it is often the case that you will be portaging. Portaging your canoe is picking up your canoe, putting it over your head, and carrying it for any length of distance to the next lake or river or just body of water. And it's a Kevlar canoe, it's light and easy to do. That makes it a huge draw for canoe campers who like to go places where you portage your canoe. Kevlar canoes are also strong, they're stiff. It's basically a layer of synthetic materials that have been woven together in sheets and that that makes up the Kevlar and then you can get different gels or coats to put on top of it which adds to the weight but it gives it a little more durability. It's stiff so it tends to be very strong though um, when you read about pros and cons of Kevlar canoes online they tend to talk up the strength and durability which they are durable but compared to other types of canoes they're just not as durable in my opinion in my experience so I guess we'll move into the cons <laughs> if you scrape your Kevlar canoe you're gonna take off the epoxy layer that kind of protects it or whatever layer is there um, and then it'll need to be repaired. And Kevlar canoes are a little bit more difficult to repair than other canoes, though it's it's perfectly doable. I know people who have repaired lots of Kevlar canoes and it works just fine. It's just not as simple and straightforward as like welding your aluminum canoe or something like that. Kevlar canoes are a little bit more difficult to repair, but still doable. Um, they are also not great in rocky areas for that reason. It just scrapes off the layers of um, epoxy or whatever. It's also a very stiff material, so it's got a little bit less flex to it and that can cause you some issues as well. With a Kevlar canoe, you really don't want to scrape off the outside layer of the canoe, the epoxy, and expose the Kevlar. And also, they're typically pretty expensive, so when you're getting out of the lake, when you're getting out of the river, there's often rocks and things, so you're going to want to lift up the Kevlar canoe and carry it out that way, which is always good practice, but I mean, if you're using like an aluminum canoe or something like that, it really wouldn't be necessary because you're not really going to damage your aluminum canoe with rocks that easily. Kevlar canoes also need protection from the sun. The UV can degrade the material. When you're storing it, you're going to want to have an indoor location to store your canoe. So overall, Kevlar canoes are lightweight, which makes them faster, easier to care for and clean and transport, which is a big deal. It's also easy to portage them across different portages. They are durable-ish. <laughs> The cons are they're more difficult to repair, they're not super great to use in rocky areas. You're going to want to lift them out of the water and not drag them out of the water, so that means you're going to have to get in and out of the water when you're loading stuff into your canoe. They also need UV protection and they're pretty expensive. If you have the money and the time and ability to care for your Kevlar canoe, it's probably the best option for canoe camping if you're going to be doing a lot of portaging. And if you buy a used Kevlar canoe and it needs to be repaired, you might want to do your research on how to do that 
and how to do that well. I am in love with Kevlar canoes. The one I have is a Kevlar canoe with a coat on it. So mine doesn't look like the typical Kevlar canoe, but it is, and it's still pretty light. My canoe is really large. <laughs> it's just so nice to have a canoe that's super light and easy to move around. It doesn't put as much strain on your body. Sometimes you portage a mile or even longer and carrying a canoe on your shoulders that far is a lot. I hope this was helpful if you have more questions or comments or if you have more pros and cons of Kevlar canoes from your experience, put that in the comments and we can learn from each other.